Now let us move on to this uh, second uh, theory of moral development, which is called as Gilligan's theory. It is called Gilligan's theory. <clears throat> Carol Gilligan. It was uh, framed by Carol Gilligan. And uh, <coughs> this Carol Gilligan, she is a, she is a female and uh, she uh, is a student of Kohlberg. Okay. And what she criticized is that this Kohlberg's theory of moral development is completely male oriented, male bias. That is, he has obtained, he has explained the response to, sorry, dilemma situation to only a group of males and he has obtained the responses and uh, he has uh, derived the stages of moral development and levels of moral development based on the response that um, that male will give. Okay. So completely it is male bias. This is what uh, is a critic that he made, that she made on Kohlberg's theory of moral development. And what in addition uh, she, she said is morality of males and females are different. The moral values or principles, practices of moral values by a male and a female or uh, decisions that are taken by a particular male and a female in a particular situation, it differs. And uh, in addition, she also said that morality centers not on rights and rules, but on interpersonal relationships and the ethics of compassion and care. Okay, so morality is uh, not only following only the rules. If, if, uh, if we are going to blindly follow only the rules, then we should always give the answer like I should not steal. Right? But rather than following, in, in spite of following the rules, it also depends on morality. It also depends on the interpersonal relationships and compassion and care. Okay. And what she said is moral, male morality is based on justice. Always they will solve a particular moral problem by following only the rules, rights and autonomy. They focus only on rules, rights and autonomy. So male morality is based on justice. Whereas female morality is based on care. They will care for others. Does anybody want to say something? Aishwarya? Hope I'm audible in both the links. Are you with me or not? Yes, ma'am, you are audible now. Yes, the other link. Other link. Can one of you answer? People in other link. The second link. Audible. Audible. Okay. So always female morality is based on care. <clears throat> they are ready to self-sacrifice their own needs for the benefit of the others. This is what um, the justification that is given by Carol Gilligan. In general, that is or, uh, very simply to put it in a simple way, we can say that females are fav favored by relationship. They have the relationship orientation. They will take decisions based on relationship. That, now, nobody sh that is the, the decision that they make. It should not hurt others. Even they may get hurt because of the decision that they made. But it should not hurt others at any cost. The relationship should not get spoiled. So based on that, they will decide. They will give moral judgments. So females are favored by <clears throat> relationship orientation. Whereas males always will concentrate on the justice orientation simply or blindly they will follow the rules and take moral decisions they are also taking moral decisions but uh, they are least bothered or uh, some in some cases they are least bothered about whether the decision that they have taken uh, hurts others or not because they are going to fo focus on the rules rights and autonomy this is what gilligan's critic about kohlberg's Col theory of moral development and uh, what she did is she revised the three levels of moral development of Kohlberg. She revised it and she developed 
Gilligan's theory of moral development. The same thing is mentioned here. Men were found to resolve moral dilemma by choosing the most important moral rule. Based on rule, they will solve the moral dilemma. Whereas women, if you come to women, they give importance to preserve personal relationships with all the people involved. They, at any cost, they, they will not make decisions which is going to hurt others. So she uh, produced a revised level of moral development. And this is called Gilligan's theory. And here again, there are three levels. One is pre-conventional, conventional and post-conventional. If you look at this pre-conventional level, it is almost same as that of Kohlberg's theory. If I, uh, that is, it, uh, it has a desire, desire to satisfy their own needs. I have to avoid punishment. I have to, I will obey the rule. So pre-conventional level is the same, which is found in all young children, right? So pre-conventional level is same as that of Kohlberg's first one, which is right conduct, is viewed in a selfish manner solely as what is good for oneself. Okay, and coming to the second level, there is slight modification in the second level called conventional level. And here the importance is giving, the importance is on not hurting others and willing to sacrifice one's own interest and help others. In conventional level, people will, uh, uh, rather than their own interests, they will also try to please others. But here, in addition to that, Kohlberg's point, she added that if the same level of moral development is found in women, she will always take decisions based on <coughs> not hurting others. They are ready to sacrifice even their own needs to help others. This level is called as, this is the modification that uh, Gilligan gave in the second level called conventional level with respect to the Kohlberg's theory of moral development. And this is the characteristic feature of most of the women's, right? At the post-conventional level, a recent balance, recent balance is found between caring about others and pursuing the self-interest. So here again, they will care more for others. They don't want to spoil the relationship. So they will take decisions accordingly. This is the modification of Gilligan's theory compared to that of Kohlberg's theory. 